What's up guys? It's Intense Investor here coming at you again for another episode on my YouTube channel. There's a new trailing down feature in BitScout. Uh, basically when your bot runs off the grid but you want to keep trading, uh, what do you do? So uh, you know you're not able to trade or anything. So BitScout's added this new trailing down feature that allows you to keep trading as the market is going down it's a great feature i've been wanting them to add it for probably eight months ever since i started using bitsgap so i'm going to go over that this evening um, how to set it up and how to use it to your advantage so you make good profits with it so let's get into it all right guys uh so before we get going here I got BitScout open, the dashboard open. Um, you know, if I want to set up an ADA USDT bot pair, right here I'm showing 40 grid levels. So between each of these grids, I got it set for 1.35% profit. That is your grid step. Uh, the lower set at $1.05 and the upper set at $1.80. As you can see, uh, I got trailing up clicked and now we got this new trailing down feature uh, you know I, I usually set take profit pretty high because sometimes the bots will make like over a hundred percent profit if I set it at 20 percent the bot will take profit too early which I don't want it to do like if I'm trying to make a higher percentage profit uh, and I usually don't set the stop loss because oftentimes I'll have one of these crazy wicks that'll just shoot up or it'll it'll go down and the bot will buy like every grid level and then when the price comes back up really fast it'll sell off every level on that grid so I kind of like to take advantage of those situations so I usually don't run the stop loss checked um, I usually don't use the back test it doesn't seem to be too accurate because you know past results uh, they're not reflective of future results and what you might get uh, so I'm looking at 29,000 US dollars in my account right here uh, we're going to set up an ADA USDT bot um, but first let's look at this trailing down feature and uh, just go over exactly what it is um, I'm going to go to the Bitsgap website it's on helpdesk.bitsgap.com uh, basically the benefit of trailing down feature is moving the bots grid below the initial settings which allow the bot to follow the downtrending market and continue to trade even if the price went below the lower price border so what that means is the bot if this price action let's say if I set my lower price right here if this price action gets below this bottom grid it's going to rebuild the grids as the price drops but the only thing so the only thing you got to really remember is you got to have enough usdt in your account and your available balance so when the price action drops down past that last grid and it starts rebuilding these grids it has to be able to use that available usdt to buy more cardano if it ain't there then it's not going to work um, and that's something they allude to they tell you um, trailing up is different because say you're tra you're going up you've already set limit orders that you're selling right you're selling your cardano that the bot bought so when you first run a bot it's going to buy so much cardano and it's going to leave so much usdt so if the price just starts pumping it's going to sell that Cardano back to USDT until the price starts falling and then it's going to buy. So when the price is falling, it's buying Cardano. And when the price is going up, it's selling Cardano back to USDT. So you got to make sure you have enough USDT in your available balance. So when the, the bot starts dropping or I mean, the market starts dropping the bot it's going to buy right it's going to be buying more cardano with that usdt if you got enough usdt and the market keeps dropping it'll just keep buying i mean it could buy way down here 
but when the market does go back up and it it should you know unless there's just a black swan event or something crazy happen there's been a lot of crazy news lately but the past week or so there's been more positive news in the crypto mar markets and the industry so when that price starts to go back up it's going to sell all that cardano back to usdt so i hope that's a simple enough exclamation uh explanation <laughs> for uh what i'm trying to explain here so the bot will open new buy orders using the quote currency uh your quote currency is your usdt and your base currency is your ada so base currency is on the left which is your ada quote currency is on the right which is your usdt new orders will appear if the current price is below the lower price of the bot i was just explaining that once the new buy order is filled the top sell order gets canceled and the new order to sell base currency will be open at the bottom of the active grid so that's another thing say i only set 40 grids it's going to cancel the top uh the top grid up here and it's going to build it below if the price is dropping so it'll cancel the top one it'll build a new one down here now if it drops past two or three grids it's going to build two or three grids if you got enough available balance in your quote currency to be able to buy the base currency which is on your left and that's cardano or it could be any of these other whatever bot you want to use you know quote currency on the right usdt btc eth and then base currency on the left <clears throat> So you buy your base currency with your quote currency. Just hope that makes sense. So let's go ahead and set this bot up. Um, let's say where do I want my lower price to be? Um, with Cardano, it's already at a dollar forty-three. Let's put the let's put the upper price uh, twenty-five cents, tw uh, thirty cents higher. So we'll go like one seventy-five. And then I'm going to say 125 for the lower grid. I tell you what, let's just do, let's do 115. That's a little better. And let's run, let's run 60. 60 grid steps is pretty good. Um, that still gives me 0.7% profit. Uh, so the fee, whatever the fee is on like Kraken, um, it starts at 0.26%. So if I have 0.7 minus 0.26, you know, I'm going to get a little bit under half a percent profit for each of these grid steps. Um, so I got trailing up on, I got trailing down. I'm going to click it on. So you can pick stop trailing down at say like 75 cents. I'm going to put it, I'm going to put stop trailing down on 95 cents. So that'll be minus 17% below my lower price. I, I don't like using take profit or stop loss. Cause like I said, sometimes I get these crazy wicks and it makes me a lot of money sometimes on the bot. So I don't like to take profit. I don't like to do the stop loss cause that'll make your profit like a hundred percent sometimes if it happens to have a flash crash. Uh, Kraken is pretty well known for that. Um, if you'd like to use Kraken, I got a link in the description along with my BitScalp link. Uh, you know, feel free to sign up under me. I do appreciate it if you happen to watch my video uh, and you enjoy my content. Uh, I do put all the links in the description. But, um, so we're ready to start the bots. Uh, this is Cardano USDT bot. I'm going to hit start 60 grid levels. Lower price a dollar fifteen, upper price a dollar seventy five. I'm gonna stop the trailing down at ninety five cents, which would be right there. See how it shows it? Stop trailing down. Pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. So uh, let's hit start. So when you hit start, it's gonna ask you, you know, I got twenty nine thousand USDT, right? I want to buy. 8,861 ADA, right? We're going to buy it at the market price. So I'm going to hit yes, buy. You got to give it a second sometimes. Um, but you'll see the bot uh, show up over here. 
and it should build uh, should build all the grids. It'll show as active. And then you can see my trail stop trailing down at 95 cents. So if this price action gets down to where it's uh, below a dollar 15, it'll start rebuilding these grids, and it's going to take away from the top grids. And once it gets down to this trail, it stop trailing down, it'll stop completely. And at that point, if it goes below this, the bot would actually run off the grid. And you can set this as low as you want. I mean, you can put it on 50 cent, but just remember, you got to have enough available USDT balance, which is your quote currency, to buy your base currency. If you don't, it won't even start rebuilding the bids. So, um, the grids so you got to keep enough quote currency which usdt in your account so the bot can rebuild the grids if it happens to fall down under where these current settings are for the lower and the upper just hope that makes sense but uh that's pretty much all there is to it uh, i just wanted to go over that it's a great feature um you know i've been wanting to try it here the past couple weeks but the market was kind of down but things are starting to perk up so I'm going to start running some bots again and start making some videos again on BitScout. Um, I'm also going to try some of the bots on Pionex, so that'll be an extra treat for all the subscribers that watch my videos and uh, like my content. Uh, they got a couple of bots I want to try out. Uh, they got like an Infinity type grid bot. They got regular grid bots uh, and a couple others. I just want to try it out and see how it compares to BitScout. But anyway, um, that's pretty much all I got for tonight. Uh, be sure to check out my link in the description if you're interested in BitScout. I'd recommend getting the pro account, which is the 15 bots. Uh, it lets you split up your money across 15 different bots. I'd recommend running between $500 and $1,000 per bot. Uh, that's way you, that way you can maximize your returns. Um, I've just figured that out over using BitScout because you'll have some bots that'll stay down and you'll have some bots that'll be way up you know and try to use like top 10 or top 20 market cap coins that's just another pointer you know like BTC, ETH, Cardano, Polkadot, Matic, Theta, uh, you know Harmony One, Amp those are all good bots to use and to run so that's all I got for now but uh, like I said links are in the description uh, I recommend using Kraken Exchange. They've been growing a lot. Uh, I'd kind of stay away from Binance right now. Um, I don't use Coinbase much with the BitScout because it trades so much and the fees are really high on Coinbase. So I'm kind of sticking with just uh, Kraken and KuCoin right now because I'm an American citizen. So uh, those are the two I recommend. But anyway, uh, that's all I got for now. You guys have a good evening. I appreciate your support, and I'm going to be making some more videos. I know I was out the past couple weeks, but I just needed a break. So you guys have a good night. Thanks for your support. Be, be sure to hit subscribe, like, notification bell if you don't mind. And I'll talk to you guys later.